What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I have the Arch Paladin class, and Pisces, the class creator himself, told me how to use it. Um, it's a really good class, but a lot of people aren't going to like why it's really good. It kind of includes me, but it's pretty insane also. It's highly overpowered, uh, but not as far as damage goes. And some people might not think that's good, but when you're fighting bosses that are really hard to fight, but you need to farm them, uh, not dying is pretty essential in this class. Wait for it. 100% less damage. Your enemy output can be turned up to 100% less, which is no damage at all. If you don't know how to do math, let's get into the video. All right, so this is what the class looks like. That's the art. I'm wearing the class armor right there, if that's what you're curious about. Probably not, though. Here are the stats. 120 strength, 120 intellect, 100 endurance, 100 dex, and uh, pitiful amount of wisdom and luck. Uh, the enhancements for the class that I'm using in this video and that Pisces recommended. Pisces is the guy that made the class. He recommended all wizards, so we have wizard on our fists. And for this video, we are also using the most stable weapon in Adventure Quest Worlds. 151 151 so it always does 151 damage on the auto attack and then of course the class will amplify that we're using wizard on the class wizard on our helmet and wizard on our cape that is everything wizard so those are the enhancements for the class now this class in pvp is very iffy it's very luck based and it depends on what other class you're facing like a lot of pvp fights go uh if you're facing a dodge class you won't have a very nice time because your ultimate or your fifth skill can be dodged uh, but it can also do a lot of damage like uh, 13k 20k i think i've seen it do 20k damage probably higher if you have an unstable weapon uh, your choice between stable and unstable weapons are either one depends on uh, whether you feel lucky uh, or if you just want more stable output of course uh, that's how stable and unstable weapons work but for some classes like scarlet sorceress you need a stable weapon uh, for this class it can go either way uh, for pvp i'd probably recommend unstable because it's all rng anyway so having the unstable adds more rng and uh it's more fun i guess <laughs> so in pvp the the combo that you want to use i know people want to use this so as soon as you get in the match use your four that lasts 10 seconds uh actually you probably want to go two and then four and heal and just keep spamming your two once your two stacks up to five uh so stack that to five times then hit your five skill that will do the 20k damage and finish off your opponent if it does not miss which i was, I was on stream farming a boss and it missed like six times in a row i don't think i don't think the hit chance is too high on the fifth skill but it's worth it to do a 20k damage uh also to be noted the skill does take 75 mana which is 75% of your mana? Okay. <laughs> um, so it does take 75% of your mana. You get 30% mana for that one, 40 mana on your heal, and uh, 10 mana on your stack. Um, so what I said before, so this, um, you can hit up the three targets with your stack skill, and it, it has a 2% less damage. So your target does 2% less damage, less dodge chance, less crit chance, less crit amount, a less hit chance so you can literally get your target down to the point where they have no damage no crit chance no dodge chance no hit chance they can't do anything literally nothing like they're just sitting there doing nothing not hitting you at all but trying their hardest so you can do that on a boss you can get a boss down to a hundred percent uh less damage less crit chance less everything and it lasts for 100 seconds stacks up to 50 so very good and pisces was talking about maybe adding a two percent damage increase which would take the damage for this class and turn it into an insane amount of damage um way more than it does it's not a damage class uh i would recommend ha having a stone crusher if you're doing a lot of farming with you in the same room have a friend with stone crusher class um and also it does a small stack a small dot stack on your two skill too which uh, gives you additional damage um your third skill heals you and can heal your allies also add some endurance stuff like that pretty boring it's just a heal skill um your fourth skill of course this is the stack skill this is a skill that you pop in pvp first so you can get your stacks off and then you can hit that huge crit on your fifth skill uh it deals a moderate damage but then 
deals a lot of damage, but then all damage uh, for you and your opponent will be uh, re reduced to 90% for 10 seconds. So you, you and your uh, enemy don't do any damage, basically. Well, 10% damage, which is barely anything. So you, you, you barely do any damage for 10 seconds. So while you're uh, in a PvP match or when you're fighting a boss, this is good for fighting a boss too, for getting your stacks up while you're fighting a boss. Um, you can stack while you have that on. And that is essential. So if you're fighting a boss and you just use all your stacks, right? You have to hit that floor skill, especially if the boss has a lot of damage. So if you just uh, if you just use your uh, your crit uh, to do the 20k damage or whatever it does, a chance of it hitting that, which it doesn't hit that all the time, and I don't like that. But um, I wish it was like a 90% chance or like a seven or at least 75 because it seems like maybe I just get really unlucky with it. I don't know the percent chance of that hitting, but so you basically after you, if you lose your stacks, right? Um, the amount of damage the enemy is going to do to you is going to go up a lot because you're reducing the damage by stacking. So uh, this will use five of your stacks, or it might take away all your stacks, it might reset stacks. I don't know if it resets or takes five, but after you use that, pop your four, uh, that will reduce the damage, and then you can stack back up while the four is reducing damage. Uh, so basically that's how you use it, hopefully I explained that correctly. If I did not explain that correctly, please correct me in the comment section down below. So. Uh, this is, class is not a farming class. It says it can hit up the three targets. Uh, I'll show you the, that it, it's not a farming class. One sec. All right, so here we are at Pirates. I'm gonna show you that it's not a farming class, uh, not a multi-target farming class. You're still gonna wanna keep Blazebinder or Shaman or one of those classes, Damien. I know a lot of people like using Damien uh, in your inventory. Uh, so I'm standing in what looks like the middle of this. Uh, Blazebinder would hit, I'll show that. So a Blazebinder would hit if you use your thing. So it hits all three, the blaze binder. But if we swap over, uh, and it's intended to work though, like this, it's not a glitch or anything. At least I hope it's not. Uh, so if we equip Arch Paladin, someone just subscribed to my YouTube channel. I still have my subscription thing from my stream open. Sorry about that. Uh, hit little hit marker sound. Um, So if we stand right here, it only hits one. So you have to group them together. So if I do it right now, it should hit both of them. It didn't. So they have to be in like the same spot. So you gotta get like all your enemies in the same spot, which is, can be hard to do. Uh, it's not a reliable thing. Uh, see, uh, there. So you could use it to farm if you're really paying attention, but I think most people are doing like listening to a podcast or watching YouTube or doing something else while they're farming stuff and they don't really want to have to focus too hard on the game when they're farming. I think that's what most people do. So definitely not a farming class. Let's move on to what it's really made for, the boss destroying. All right, I, will, I might have over-exaggerated the boss destroying it. It's a, it's a boss, uh, it, it'll keep you alive. So we're gonna slash join Blood Titan. Go the ultra fight. So the normal one, that's a joke. <laughs> this class this class could easily, easily take on the normal uh, Blood Titan. Right, let's heal up, get our health back the full just in case. There we go. So this is a boss, he's got 380, almost 400,000 health, he's level 50, has a 100% hit chance, so he hits you every time, you can't dodge him. Nope, nope, maybe you can, I don't think so. <laughs> I think he has 100% hit chance, even though he does a lot of damage. So I'm gonna not use any skills to just show you how, uh, how good this boss is, by not using any skills, so he's doing 400, 400, uh, 400, he does consistent 400, he's almost 500 right there, 420, blaze it. So there you go. See, he's not missing. He didn't miss a single attack there, and we just died instantly. All right, now let's use some skills. So like I said before, we're going to use the four skill to put up a shield so we can stack. Once we're going to get stacks up, then we're going to heal ourselves. Well, we're going to heal while getting our stacks up, and then we're going to use our ultimate to destroy his health bar. So let's hope I don't mess up. So four skill, two skill, three skill. That's my combo right there, my starting off combo. You need that three for the heal. And we're gonna keep using the three skill whenever that's applicable. If that guy joins in the fight. Please don't join in the fight. And he joined the fight. So as you can see, we're doing uh, 4K heals. Uh, we're gonna go find another Blood Titan. All right, that's 100% my bad, but all right, the same thing applies. We're gonna hit that, we're gonna hit the two, we're gonna hit the heal, we're gonna stack the two, then we're gonna hit the ultimate. So we use our four, so neither of us are doing damage. I heal up a little bit, get my health back. Uh, we keep stacking to reduce his damage. Now we're not gonna, we have our physical available, but we're not using it because that would be not a good move because we don't have five stacks yet. 
uh, once we have five stacks, then, then it's a good move to use that. But we want to get this guy's damage way down, so we're going to keep healing, keep using our stack. This would this class would destroy most classes. I will actually use a different class on this boss after this fight. Did we, we, we messed up. Someone's going to say, hey Corey, why didn't you edit that out? Um, I don't like editing out things in my videos, honestly. I, I like showing you everything that I experienced using class, and that will happen. Uh, it's 100% hit chance. He's good. He might out-damage you. You have to be sort of lucky to get a high heal sometimes, and I might be not using the class correctly. Also, uh, that's a factor. Uh, I should probably have used my force skill more, uh, to be honest. Uh, so I'm still learning with you guys right now, honestly. Uh, so I'm going to edit uh, my... my uh, my advice uh, use your four skill more often use your four skill whenever it's available so basically you're just gonna spam two three and four well, of course what else would you spam and until you have enough stacks uh, for your five skill so we're gonna hit our four skill again this is obvious to most people I I forgot about it honestly all right so a great class guy Corey very you're very good at using this class you, you literally learned how to use it while doing the video and I still died okay uh, you might want a teammate for this fight, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just a teammate or two. Nah, the force go ahead, don't cool down. Okay, uh, well, anyway, uh, you can see the potential of the class. Uh, if I had a teammate, that would be awesome. Uh, it's it's a potential class that we can go farm someone else if you want to see uh, how the class actually works. Someone that won't, won't hit me, let's go find someone else. And here we are at Doom Kitten. <laughs> Okay. Um, it does take 75 uh, mana for your last skill. So we're gonna die here. <laughs> we have 8 health. Oh no, we died. Okay. So, definitely a team based class. Uh, you might want to use it with a few friends, maybe one or two. Uh, yeah, let's try to find a different boss. Alright, we're at the most original boss I could find. You know, I used all my uh, creative power to find a boss we could uh, farm in this video. Alright, um, so let's let's do it. So I don't know why I hit my heal there. Probably not a good idea. Um, I don't think this guy does much damage at all. Uh, so we're just going to stack crit on him. Now I can show you the critical. Um, we're going to stack it up to 5 and just use it uh, just to show it. Yeah, there's no way this guy's gonna kill us. Maybe that Doom Kitten had a special thing where, like, you can't debuff the Doom Kitten. So as you can see, he's missing us a lot because we're actually, I think the uh, stacking is actually working on this guy. I might cut the Doom Kitten part out, but I went and fought the Doom Kitten. I might, I'll probably cut that out. Alright, so if we hit the 5 there, we did 6k. I, I, we had more than 5 stacks. I don't know why it didn't. Maybe we didn't have 5 stacks. Alright, so 1, uh, 2... We're going to count here. Welcome to count with Corey. Uh, three. We're counting. Well, we'll just stack. We'll just keep stacking until uh, the the 60 second cooldown on the fifth skill is done. And then I'll show you the crit. Uh, the crit doesn't hit always, which is probably the biggest downside of this class. That and the fact that... Uh, yeah, that about it. And the bosses that don't take debuffs for some reason like doom kitten i don't know why doom kitten wasn't taking debuffs i put so many stacks on doom kitten that uh, she wouldn't die all right i don't know if doom kitten's a he or she that is assume doom kitten's gender probably all right um there we go we have like 20 stacks so let's crit it did it did 6k and it didn't critical on to the design notes i would like to mention uh, on the design notes we just hit that didn't critical on the design notes it says there's a hundred percent chance of critical I beg to differ. I just hit it, and it did 6k damage. That's not 100. That's not 100 chance of critical. That's not. I. It didn't critical. It was white text. It did more damage. It didn't critical though. So the heal is really good. Um, this is more of what would actually happen. Uh, you can see this guy's just missing me, or not even hitting me, or doing such little damage. It, 
is irrelevant. My self heal is almost out healing his damage. It just is 6k again. No critical. Uh, why? Why? Why game? Why? I, I gotta show you the design notes post. It, the design notes post says 100% chance of critical. I read it on stream. It says 100% chance, but for some reason this class, no, 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 that's not how it works. You get no 100% chance. And he's gonna die before we get another chance. Actually, that's what this is for. Actually, he's gonna die. Reducing 90% damage output. And he's dead. Alright, so as you can see, this class will not destroy bosses quickly, but it will keep you alive. Thank you for watching this guide on the Arch Paladin class. Yes, I had to look at the name of it. I keep forgetting it. I'm bad with names. All right, so thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If I messed anything up, uh, which I probably did, <laughs> I'm not perfect, and I don't put out perfect class guides, uh, you can leave a comment down below to correct me and upload that comment or like the comment, I guess, if it's correct. Uh, or if anyone knows any advice that I did not share in this video, also leave that in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching the video, guys, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow all my social media links in the description. Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, I stream on Twitch sometimes. I post all the videos to Facebook and Twitter is where I talk about dumb shit and also post videos and tell you when I'm streaming there. So if you want to follow me there, go ahead and do so. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, click the top right corner for the last video I uploaded. Bye.